For this question, I'm asked to put the augmented coefficient matrix into row echelon form and then use bag substitution to find all solutions. So I've got a system, three equations of three variables. And to make the augmented coefficient matrix, I want to pull the coefficients off of x1 through x3, put them in a matrix, and set that equal to 2, 5, 8. So I have a column of x1, x2, x3, and then what all the equations are equal to. So to start, let's subtract the third row from the first to try to clear out some terms in the first column. So I have 2 minus 2 gives me 0, 8 minus 7 is 1, 3 minus 4 is negative 1, and 2 minus 8 gives me a negative 6. And from there, I'm just going to go and fill in the rest of the rows. And now I'm going to go ahead and switch the top two rows so I can have my leading one in the first column on the top row. And from here, I need to clear this 2 out of the bottom, so I only have 1, 1 in this column. And to do so, I'm going to subtract 2 times the first row from the third. So let's go ahead and carry the first two rows over. And now I have 2 minus 2 gives me 0. 7 minus 6 is going to give me 1, and 4 minus 4 is going to give me 0. 8 minus 10 gives me negative 2. All right, and I'm going to move over here and continue. Let's recopy that matrix down. And I'm going to go ahead and switch the second and third rows. And from there, let's subtract the second row from the third. So I have 1 minus 1, which is going to be 0. Negative 1 minus 0 is just negative 1. And negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. And I just want to multiply that third row by negative 1. So I can identify x2 and x3. They are negative 2 and 4, respectively. And now I want to back substitute into the top equation. So I have x1 minus 6 plus 8 equals 5. x1 plus 2 equals 5. x1 equals 3. So if I want to write that solution as a vector, it is going to be the vector 3, negative 2, 4.